Hi, Flynn and Lisa Dorsey. It is now 6 p.m. on March 12th. We're going to call the meeting to order. Any comments, suggestions, or petitions by residents in attendance? Um, I'm Laddie Keach. I live in the 100 block of West Minor. And um, I'm here to, to, I was here in the fall and just presented a little bit, um, talking about the alley, Woolerton Alley, that runs from Church to Darlington and um, Market to Minor, both ways. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of traffic, truck traffic, and we don't, nobody knows which way to go or how fast to go. And um, I would just like to present, maybe we could do a study um, be, because the next block on Wellerton, the 200 block is two lane. The next block after that, there's a four way stop. And then the next block to Wayne, there's one way. So there's a lot of um, orchestrating through Wellerton Alley, but we're not uh, affected with any of that. And I, there's a lot of traffic we have a lot of truck traffic, and um, we're commercial, bless we're residential. So I just would like the committee to kind of do a study, uh, see if we can slow traffic down. I'm not sure a four-way would do, four-way stop would do it so much, but it would make people stop and look to see who's coming from one direction to the next. And there's very few places to pull over because it's only one lane to pull over to let somebody go through. So it's it, there's a lot of logistical problems with that one little alley there. So um, I just wanted to present that. And I know Bernie said, just wait until all the buildings come, all the building, it's gonna be much worse. So I was hoping maybe we could address it before all the traffic gets worse. So thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Ms. McCarr, what I suggested to Ms. Keach is that she make her comments tonight. We could push that to public safety, have a traffic study done, and then share that with the public. I love that idea. Thank you. Okay. Um, there is one other thing that, oh, no, come. I'm going to be Ramsey, so if you want to speak up, I'll be up. Okay. No. Wait, Ramsey. Um, I just want to publicly let people know that there were emails back and forth this past week or so about discussing parking at the parks overnight and changing the, I don't, I have really hard time saying parking at the parks, but I'm going to do it four more times. Parking at the parks overnight being permitted for the residents only. I am not 100% in favor of this, although I, I think it's a very interesting idea and I think that we need to discuss it further. Just wanna put it on the record. That is, is a concern of the, some residents in our borough and let's move on to discussion items. Unless, do you have any comments here? Okay. Um, I thought, if you're talking about Everhart Park, I thought along Union Street, that was um, permit parking down there. I'm talking Our about from Mr. Patton's house. I'm talking about lots. Oh, the lots. Got you. I don't, I don't think there's any enforcement in the lots. Yeah. Right. So I, I think it's a much larger discussion about enforcements, times, park use. And uh, I think I just want to put it on the record that that's been brought to my attention. And I think it needs to be discussed further. I think the last time we talked about it, we did take action around commercial vehicles parking in the parks. We did. Parking, lot, park, parking lots overnight. Um, but now we're talking about residents. So that's the difference. Yes. Okay. So the, the request was to make park parking resident only. So if you lived next to Hoops Park and there's a parking lot there and you had a permit to park on that street, which I don't even know if there are any permits up there, but let's just hypothetically say that, they would be allowed to park there and non-residents would not be allowed to park there. The concern is um, students, warehousing and things like that. Um, my concern is, 
I was taking my kids with LAFA, which is no longer a thing, um, to our borough parks, and it was lasting until well after dark, and there's no way you could manage a whole bunch of non-borough parents parking in park lots and then have parking people coming. It just it didn't seem like it, something that could viably work. So I want to discuss that at length with Ramsey. Yeah, I, I think uh, since you brought it up, maybe what we should probably do is identify the parks that are uh, in question and zero in on them and then see how it, see, see how it flows out. I, yeah, I agree. Okay, great. Thank you. OK, let's move on to discussion item 3 a the director's report. Hi, I am Monica Campbell. Um, I work in the office for the parking department. I am covering for Ramsey Rayner today because she is on vacation in Finland. So I am going to go over her doc her director's report. Um, first up, the street sweeping ordinance signs um, have gone up. Uh, the parking department will begin with the warning tickets on March 18th. Um, so full enforcement will begin on April 1st. Uh, we will be hiring a part time night shift officer to help on the weekend for enforcement. Ramsey uh, has been coordinating with the community campus committee and Westchester U to help with parking issues and event planning. Uh, we are enhancing signage throughout the borough and will be working on wayfinding um, projects soon. And last, Ramsey has asked um, the Public Arts Commission to do a call for art to create a printable and web friendly artistic map. Um, showing different lots, garages, and public points of interest. Um, this will be released on March 25th. Wonderful. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. I do want to share with you in lieu of Ramsey um, an anecdotal story that I heard this morning about someone parking illegally on a regular basis, knowing full well, well that they were doing this, They've been doing it for decades, and that's a quote. And within the past few months, they have been stopped not once, but two times by parking enforcement people. One time they actually got a ticket, and the other time they were just asked to move along. But I see this as a wonderful sign that our parking people are doing a wonderful job. So thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right, let's move on to the garage management report. We have that. Oh, uh, we don't have uh, our people from Impark to report on our garage management report. I see so, that. Yes, I just realized that. Okay, um, then let's just move on to the notification process for Ordinance Twenty Twenty Two Dash Eleven Adams Street. Do we have an update on that? No, we're still in a holding pattern. The um, Project at East Neald Street, the that we proposes to redevelop the Wyeth site into two warehouse buildings is in final plan review, and we have an extension of that review to the end of May. So we'll be taking action. Planning Commission will be reviewing in April, and it, at the very least, Borough Council will see it uh, by May, possibly by April, for decisions, and then we should put this into motion. That sounds like some decent timing in my mind, but. Okay, we'll just keep floating that on there. All right, let's move on to action items. A, a motion to approve draft lease for lot seven, Chestnut Street and Darlington Street. Do, do we have anything to talk about here? Mm -hmm. I am in favor of approving this lease. How do you feel about that? All right, Lisa. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm looking at a different agenda. So um, I would suggest that the committee, Ramsey and I talked about this before she left, and I suggest we table this item. It is not ready for. Okay. Um, she still had some issues to go over with the property owner and the solicitor on this on this uh, thing. So, so I, then I, was a little, I, I didn't see it on that. See it on my copy. So is B a motion to approve February 2024 parking committee? Is that approval of meeting minutes? Are we good with that? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
And is there any other business? Seeing none, this meeting can be adjourned at 610.